Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. All right, your first card is the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Whoa, the Death card, major transformations for you guys. Passions being renewed being inspired blessings that are coming to you that are very unexpected the nine of pentacles the hierophant and the justice card okay there is major changes that are coming to you aquarius for this month of november for some of you guys uh, you may be reminiscing or looking towards the past for some of you guys uh, remembering, you know, we just recently passed uh, the remembrance of our dead. Um, or it could be that you're currently still dealing through some type of mourning or some type of loss, uh, perhaps an anniversary of a loved one that is no longer here. Um, but I definitely do see new beginnings coming to you guys, not only new beginnings, but they are definitely highlighting for you guys uh, a lot of travel. I see a lot of travel for you guys. Uh, this could be from November all the way to December for some of you guys. Um, I feel that for a lot or the majority of you guys, you're currently feeling like you're not happy at this point in your life. And you accept that perhaps you've partaken in certain aspects of why you are where you're at. Now, this could be... Um, this could be in regards to relationships. This could be financially. This could be uh, where you currently live. But I see you guys really like taking self-responsibility for that. And you're going to start to take action in order to get you out of where you're at right now. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, as an example, if you've been single for quite a while, you've taken self-responsibility of, okay, Am I single because I've chosen to be single or because I've convinced myself that I'm happy being single, but in reality, I'm not happy um, and I'm ready to put myself out there. So it's like you guys are deciding. It's like you're taking your power back. You're deciding to no longer feel sorry or feel the way you feel because, you know, it has a lot to do with either your personality, your state of mind, or certain behaviors that you've done in the past. And you're like, I'm done with this shit, and I'm going to make things happen. So I definitely see you guys taking on the wheel and being like, I'm taking my power back, and this is what I want, and that's what I'm going to go after. I see a lot of movement here. We have the Ace of Wands, which is passion and desire being ignited. With the Death card, it's transformation, but it's also, it's going to take you... Uh, the release or the end of an old pattern or old behavior or way of thinking in order to get you out of the unhappiness that you're currently in and taking ownership or power of that and self-responsibility with the chariot card you take your power back you become stronger you become more confident uh you're taking the steps that are going to take you towards the happiness or the joy that you've been seeking or wanting for some of you guys i see marriage so for those of you guys that have been dating for quite a while, I definitely see marriage around the corner. I see engagements for some of you guys. For others of you, uh, this could be uh, this could be finding an individual that comes into your life that is set on exactly the path you've been on. So again, if you guys have been single for quite a while, you may meet a person in the month of November that has been single for a very long time they're happy where they're at at this point in their life and they just want to find someone uh to share their happiness with so they're very prepared uh to find a serious relationship or committed relationship or a monogamous relationship and it's almost as the universe brings both of you guys together for some of you guys this could be uh, fire energy this could be i feel more like sagittarian type of energy but it could be a leo as well as we do have the sun card here uh, for others of you it could be a cancer it could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo it could be um it could be a libra as well but i feel that the justice card plays more of the universe this is your karma 
uh, and it's positive karma that's coming through for you guys and balancing the scales, um, being able to manifest the type of life you've been looking for. Um, again, here's the thing. What they're telling you for this month is Aquarians, stop sitting on your ass. Do what you have to do to get what you want. Like, stop for a moment. Disconnect from your ego. Disconnect from other people have done me this way and that's why I am the way I am now. Like, disconnect from that for a moment. And really analyze and think, are you happy where you're at at this point in your life? And if the answer to that is no, what Spirit is telling you is that now is the time to make shit happen for you. How do we do that? We take self-responsibility, we pull away from ego, and we allow ourselves to open up, to put ourselves out there. And when you do this, when you shift this perception or the state of mind that you've been in for quite a while, opportunities start to flourish all around you. And I do see a distinctive connection here for some of you guys within Earth energy. For others of you, this could represent um, water energy. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel that this energy is almost like, you know, your energy is like, I'm independent, I'm self-independent, I don't need no one. But then at night I'm lonely and I kind of don't know why I feel the way I do. I kind of feel numb. What they're telling you is that you're missing passion in your life. So we need to shake that off. And the other individual that's coming towards you is kind of feeling the same way. It's like they're happy where they're at because I see nothing but stability and um, bountiful type of energy around them. But at the same time, it's like something's missing. And what that is something is you, Aquarius. So put yourself out there and really, you know, take advantage of this energy because once we take self-responsibility, whatever it is, whatever behavior it is, um, when we take self-responsibility, we're taking our power back. And then you take the active role of taking steps towards what you want and not feeling like you have to apologize for going after what you want, even if other people don't agree. And why the reason I say that is for some of you guys, I do see a lot of travel. And it may be that you're traveling to see uh, this individual that's coming through for others, it could be that the other individual is coming through. So for some of you guys, this connection could be from a distance. And people may um, have something to say. And what they're telling you is be unapologetic about seizing the opportunity for your happiness. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Blessings.